What's up guys? What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today guys, um, we're watching the Vikings and the Colts. So the Vikings is losing right now. So, well actually we got the ball back, so. <laughs> so yeah. Since the Colts lost the ball already, guys. Well, like I said, guys, we didn't, we did not win. So, guys, I want to get a new jersey. Look at jersey. I need a new jersey for the the NFL jersey. So, switch to Verizon. It's your last chance to get our best deal of the year. Tis? Tis. I'll be right back, guys. iPhone 14 Pro. Amazing phone. This holiday season, Verizon gives you the new iPhone 14 Pro that's in stock now. Plus an Apple gift like Apple Watch SE, iPad, and Beats Fit Pro. All on us. That's a value of up to $1,900. Wow. Act now. It's our best deal of the year, but it ends soon. Visit Verizon today. We have a very small window to do what we do. This is an opportunity that, unfortunately, we won't have forever. You gotta take advantage of it while you can. Vikings offense today, 65 yards total. Mm. We're gonna have to go 95 to get into the end zone here. Yeah, they've been struggling when it rains or pours. I guess more fitting here when it snows or flurries. <laughs> It's cold as ice. They need to heat up here. Feels like it's probably foreign. Yeah. 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 Yep. Ball start. Offer. Maybe 17. Got to do some free ball. First down. Good job. More doing the stanky leg right there. Let's look at next gen stats powered by AWS. And there it is. This has been happening all season long. That pressure rate, 36.9, second highest in the NFL. He's been sacked three times today, getting hit just as many times. Kirk Cousins needs to get the ball out of his hands. Here they go empty. He's going to try to get this out quickly. Cousins, there it is. Jefferson makes one man miss. And Jefferson picks up a few more across the 10 to the 12. Okereke goes down low. You gotta, you gotta feed the beast. You know, get your playmakers involved. And that guy right there will open up your offense. Second and three. So you're thinking of finding number 18 more consistently. Just three catches, 17 yards, coming off a record. 11 for 223 last week. And they tried it, could not get it over the middle back to Jefferson. And he's a little slow getting up. Uh-oh. A record-setting year for Jefferson in so many ways. And this is the last thing anybody, not just in this building, but across the league wants to see. And you'll see him trying to make a move on Okariki and just get slammed to the ground. Great defensive play by Bobby. Guys, my team got in. Guys, if you guys don't know what happened to my red eye, it's because I got some poos in my hand. So, well, guys, I guess Justin Jefferson has been out, so we're on the NFL Network, so. Guys, if you guys want to know who's winning so far, look. It also sets up 33 deep in their own territory for Minnesota. And now without their best weapon. So. Both teams working without their best weapons. Jonathan Taylor for the Colts and now Justin Jefferson on the sideline. Good point. Jalen Rieger will come in as the replacement. Cousins. A dark Blue. 
Buddha. 30 okay, out of zero. JT, but you got JB. Kirk Cousins oh. just clouding that 30 vision zero. in the pocket. And this ball just gets away from him. He wants to go here in the slot. And that ball just slides. Slides away from him. And Julian Blackman with a big play. Nate, how about this? So the sixth interception of the season for this Colts defense, which had been the worst in turnover differential all season long. But they had gone 33 games without a pick six, <laughs> which was the longest streak you in know? the NFL. Wow. Extra point, McLaughlin makes it 30 to nothing here at U.S. Bank Stadium, and the crowd is absolutely stunned. This is a shocker. Tenth pick of the year for Kirk Cousins. Just misfired as he was looking for Osborne, or rather Jalen Rager, who had come in for Justin Jefferson. So now, maybe you had a little momentum after the defensive stop. They thought they had their own defensive touchdown. Gets called back. He said, Can you do this? Then the punt. Then the penalty, the, the penalty on the first play. Put the yourself all the way up. So all that more momentum is thwarted. And the now the ice goes down. down. Justin Jefferson goes down. And that final chair is going to, to, to my, Julian Black. You know, know. we're all somewhat shocked. Seven. Let's call it what it is. 30 to 0 right now in the second quarter. Um, but when you talk to the coach staff, talk to the coaches Saturday, they're superstars, JT last night. These guys didn't come into this game thinking that they're some underdog. They came into this game knowing that they would have an opportunity to make some plays, and if they had a chance, they were going to try to punch the Vikings in the mouth, and this is exactly what they did. Jeff Saturday has come in as a leader of men, according to Gus Bradley. Right now, his leadership looking very strong in one of the most hostile environments around the NFL. Let's go down to Lindsay for more. Yeah, no, I want to capitalize on what you're saying because it, it is pretty incredible. Every phase of the game, he has proven that leadership. And I'm watching him on the sidelines. He's getting in the face of the players down there, in the lineman's face, talking to the defenders. He was right there to get them coming off the field, just saying, good job. But the other thing is, across the board, even Reggie Wayne, you know, the cold screen, he's doing that. Run, run, run. There's a definite sense of relief. Guys, guys, we're so fu we're, dude, we're fucking dead, dude. Guys, we're so dead. We're, n we're never gonna win this. <laughs> really? We're, guys, if, listen, if, if we win this game, we will be in the Super Bowl. This is second down and nine. This time he's on target for Osborne. Who will be yes, sir. <laughs> Let's check in with Tom on an update from the Vikings sideline. Well, the Vikings star receiver Justin Jefferson still in the blue medical tent right now. <laughs> the toilet looks like good news. Chest injury for Jefferson. He is probable way. to return. Yes, getting new good. Does it on a deep drop? Let's it fly over the middle. He's yes. Let's go! Okay, KJ. Check this out. He actually spins because he wasn't expecting the ball to come over his inside shoulder and then tracks it down like an outfielder. Pure hands brings it in. And that is a catch as he keeps his hands underneath the rock. KJ's going to step up now with Justin Jefferson in that blue team and hopefully getting back in that game. Looks like they might try to decide if this was a catch or not. Jeff Saturday throws the red challenge flag. This is something he's still learning as a head coach, when to utilize his challenges, his timeouts. He talked about that in great detail with us yesterday and says that's really the, the, the biggest part of the process that's been the learning curve for him. Challenge the field with it's the little things. You know, when you become a the head coach, Check. your rookie head coach campaign, Kevin learn Let's check out this play again. KJ extends parallel to the ground, catches it with his hands. As we say, put the pinkies together. He pulls it in. I believe he got his hand underneath that. That looks like a catch to me. I'll give you my my wide receiver opinion, and I'm not being biased because I'm a wide receiver. It looks like 
he, ooh, right and right there, man. right there. When it hits the ground, does he release it for that split second? Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> You know, we, we think we know what we're talking about, but I, yeah. I'd rather talk to somebody who really knows we got what somebody? we're talking about. We got Mike Pereira. Money here. Mike. Mike, what do you got for us? Money Mike is looking at this and saying, woo, they're watching that ball get to the ground. And the key is, since you're going to the ground, you have to maintain control of the ball when you hit the ground. The ball can move. However, with the ball, if you get the hand comes off the ball like it looks like I might, then you could have lack of control. So. That's what they've got to be looking at. Again, watch him going to the ground here. Yeah, all looks good at this point. But you're going to see here. Oh, yeah. The ball get on the ground. And now watch that right hand come off the ball. And then the ball kind of turns over. I think it's an incomplete pass. Well, it seems like Mike is on the money because yeah. the teams are walking all the way back. By the way, you guys could have given me the heads up on the three-piece suit. <laughs> my bad. My bad. That's, that's, all right. that's all right. But that's you look right. clean, though. No, I appreciate you're you. You're looking clean, my brother. I appreciate you. Yeah, my enthusiasm as a wide receiver, I got a little excited. After review, the receiver did not maintain possession as he went to the ground. Therefore, his incomplete pass is the second down. Call over and turn. Yeah, that right hand was tucked. That left hand came off of the ball. And, and you saw it. Mike was on the money with that. But still, though. Almost big, almost a big play, and, and I know. Well, guys, you get a, a play like this, this is it's really bad. bad. It was a little deflating, but I'll tell you what, as a wide receiver, you're feeling yourself. So I say, feed the hot hand. Let's try to dial up some more plays to KJ, because right now he's one of the guys that's moving the sticks. And we have Jefferson back out there, which is a good thing for this offense. Let's see if they can get him involved. I like this aggressive play calling by Kevin O'Connell. Get out of the damn third. Let's move the ball down the field. See you guys. I'll give it to you later. Oh my guys, first. Handed off Madison. Had a lot of room to work with. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. We'll set up third and long. So the Colts are daring, daring the Vikings to throw right now. And you know, I, I love the fact that we get to see this matchup between the young pup, Justin Jefferson, the big dog, Stefan Gilmore. I say test the secondary, test the umbrella of this de the defense. Give your playmakers a chance to make make a play. Third and a long ten. Cousins, Osborne, incomplete. Hit immediately by Gilmore, and Osborne is feeling the effects. Stephon Gilmore still doing it at a high level. You looked him in the eye yesterday and said, how does it feel to know you've had a Hall of Fame career? I don't know if he was sure how to answer that. Yeah, he hesitated, but then he thought about it. He said, you know, I've been doing it at a high level for a long time, just like this play right here. He's sitting back, knowing that he has help over the top, so he's going to be aggressive at the point of attack. It's just a great play. You throw your right hand, almost like an uppercut, to get the ball out. Big play by Stephon Gilmore. Brian Wright with another punt. Flowers makes the fair catch at the 20. And we'll see. There was a flag down at the 11. We'll see what that comes out to. But Minnesota just missed opportunities. We've seen a couple of them now. Certainly the defensive touchdown wiped off the board. Then a couple of penalties. The pick six. And Osborne looked like he had a spectacular highlight me? grab. Really? Why did you, you give it to the fucking other team, you fucking cunt? You know, it's just tough for the Vikings because at this point Bitch. in the season, you are who right. you will be in the postseason. Mm -hmm. And when you come out... Kick and team player out of bounds on his own. Five-year penalty to be added on to the end of the play. First down. Add another one. Coming up next... The Saturday triple header continues as the Ravens take on the Browns, followed by a huge AFC East clash in prime time as the Dolphins face the Bills. The Saturday triple header continues next. Continues on next on another phone hook with NFL Plus. So to go back to the earlier question, Jeff Saturday takes over as the head coach. He's got this immediate presence, no doubt about it. What's your take? If you were a player in that locker room, someone like that comes in, how would you have responded the way that the Colts have today? Yeah. Well, listen, you, you understand that there are coaches on the staff as Matt Ryan pitches it. Dale Jackson with a first down, runs into the pile. 
and pushes it forward for an extra yard. 17-yard pickup. And before I get back to that, let me just say right now that you're seeing the creativity within this Dang. offense. You know, it takes oh my time gosh. Jeff Saturday as a head coach to really start to mix things up. But to answer your question, you understand this. So I'll give that you guys this really special shout out. A really special shout out to, to Jason, special shout out to Cam, special shout out to Carter, special shout out to Adam, special shout out to Kevin, special shout out to Spencer, Marcus, and Thank you guys and Josh Rum. Thank you um for subscribing my like on my channel and then tonight I will be on live later on tonight probably around I will be on live so 8 30 to 9 o'clock central I'll be I'll be starting to go on live so and if we want to don't don't spinning, worry guys i will be a month on, on exactly youtube that, live yeah. on and so i will be like again really come come and i'll exactly how he i'll post that on youtube the youtube live on um 8 30 to 9 o'clock central and then we'll be on live on youtube live on um 8 30 to 9 o'clock to central that 8 30 when i come in that's when i come in to 8 30. 9 o'clock it's when i my live start and how are you 11 no 10 15 yards or 10 30 to 11 15 that's when my le my life is ended so of this first half so anyways i love you guys and again special shout out to as we hit the two minute warning in this guys <laughs> Vikings and the, so there's the Vikings in the Colts and here's my brother Christmas tree and I'm wearing this because the like so again guys so I will put on the YouTube channel and I will be posting this why you get here all these comprises <laughs> Hold on, guys. Mama, llévesela si va a estar sentada. No se cae. Son suavecitas y el tacón es grueso. Y si no lo puedo esta. Mire. Es navideño. Guys, if you guys, if you guys seen this movie before, make sure you guys hit the subscribe, subscribe to this, subscribe this channel right now. If you comment down below. <laughs> Guys, my mom is talking on the phone right now. She's right there, and I'm right here. So I'm I'm vlogging right now. So. <coughs> Game day live starts tomorrow at 1 p.m. Guys, only look at that. I'm only have one present. So hopefully next Thursday we some all well, my mom. Guys, hold up, one hold on one second, guys. Guys, look at look at my beard. I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm just because I'm. See, guys, so so here's my brother's name. And then, and here's mine. You guys see it? So, that's, so we got, so we finally got the mail. 
for the DMs. So we went on, I went out there. Guys. Next is halftime, guys. The Vikings better get this score right. <laughs> Guys, so today I won't, I'm not going to stop until all the way to the end. So, so, in.